welcome back to English Lessons with Inlingua Vancouver. I'm Tash and today we're going to talk about those tricky little words affect and effect. These are really easily confused so hopefully this video will help you sort out which one to use and I do have quite a good trick to help you with that. So let's look at them in both their forms and the meanings first. We'll start with effect. Effect. As a noun, effect means the result or outcome of something. The effect could be bad. And we know this has to be a noun because look, we've got an article in front of it. So it cannot be a verb, right? When we have effect as a verb, it means to cause or bring something into being. Okay? She tried to effect a change. Affect as a noun is hardly ever used, okay? Really, really rare. Only psychologists really use this word as a noun, and it's an emotion word. It means their emotions. Here's an example. The child's affect was disturbed. But the majority of the time, we use it as a verb, which means to influence something. The movie didn't affect me. Okay, so if you need a noun in your sentence, and I'm sure you know how to decide if you need a noun or a verb, if you need a noun, there is a 99% chance that you need effect with an E. And if you need a verb, there is, slightly smaller, a 90% chance that you need affect with an A. So a good rule of thumb is to remember this way, okay? Nouns, you're gonna use effect. Verbs, you're gonna use affect. But if you wanna get super fancy and really make sure that you're pinning it down, uh, here is the top tip for that technique. Okay, we're going to substitute either the word cause or the word influence. Okay. With affect, meaning influence, we're going to swap it. Too much rain influences my mood. Too much rain affects my mood. So if the word influences fits here, influence, we know we have to use affect. As for effect, it's a cause word. So if we substitute in the word cause, we know that we can use effect. Rainy weather caused flooding. Make sense? Yeah. Rainy weather affected flooding. So here, we're gonna use affected, which is a really unusual one to use, okay? Because if we need a noun, usually we use effect, and here, this is acting like a verb, right? Cause the flooding. Okay, so it's really, really unusual, but this is one sample where you can use affected in that sentence, and you can check it with the word cause. So rule of thumb, noun, effect, verb, affect. But if you want to be 100% certain, swap out for cause or influence and double check. Thanks for stopping by for this week's tip and I will see you next time with Inlingua Vancouver.